Uh, you know, it's probably the way the kids bounce back, especially uh, in lieu of, uh, in light of our difficult uh, last two weeks. You know, Arizona State is has got a really good team and a gritty bunch, and 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 they you know beat Arizona a few a few days ago. So I felt it was a good game. Both sides, you know, played well. We had a good first half. Arizona State had a good second half, and it was just a well played game. And and uh, you know, luckily we we uh, were up by six or seven points. So I was proud of the kids. I was proud of the way the kids played, and. You know, uh, I got the two Jordans with me right now, and then both Jordans uh, played very, very well. Jordan Sanders and 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 Jordan Jenkins really did a nice job, and uh, and I was I was proud of the entire team. All right, thanks for the media. If you want to raise your hand, uh, we'll call on you for coaches for questions for coach. You need to raise your hand if you have a question. Hey, Georgina. Okay, no Georgina. Haley, Haley Sawyer. Okay. Hi. Um, just what did Andia Rogers bring to this game tonight? Well, she got us going. She she handled a lot of pressure and, and she got us going and she played at a really good tempo. Uh, made shots early and and then I think she found her her teammates I think she found Allison Mira she found Jordan Sanders you know did a nice job penetrating and kicking so I, I liked her overall point guard play I liked how she did good good shots and I liked how she got her teammates involved and that's we need that moving forward as we get all these kids back and mature as a team we need really good point guard play that gets the ball to to other people I mean she's going to get hers but she she's learning now that that she can really trust uh, people like Jordan Jenkins and Jordan Sanders and Allison Muir. And that's what we need. Uh, we need that trust that we had today. And, and I think that's that's where she really excelled today in that she got the ball to our shooters. Sorry. Go ahead, Dennis. Dennis Freeman. Uh, Coach Track, you guys lost a tough game to UCLA. What did you talk to the girls about or the late young ladies about uh, in regards to um, having a positive attitude and moving forward and putting that game behind? Well, behind you know, that? Uh, well, you know, it, it's difficult. Like you look at all the teams, you know, it, it's because of this COVID uh, situation, you know, there's been, you know, uh, there's been ups and downs and things happening. And, you know, our kids, this, ha this hasn't been easy. And I can speak for my team and I'm pretty sure it's for a lot of coaches feel this way, but this hasn't been easy. I mean, kids test every morning. We test like eight times, a, eight times a week and, and they're isolated, you know, and they haven't seen their families in a long time. And, you know, it wears on you. It really does wear on you. And, and, and uh, I think they regrouped, they regrouped and, and they wanted, you know, they wanted to end well. They came in the Pac-12 tournament and like, it was a competitive game. Both sides played hard, but, uh, but I was really proud of the fact that after, you know, those three games in a row that, that they came back and they played. I mean, we have, we have a good ball club and, you know, we got a good ball club moving forward. So I'm, I'm really happy and excited uh, that they came and they played so hard and played so well tonight. All right, thank you. We can go with uh, Sam Gordon. Coach Jordan Jenkins um, tonight, with career, uh, the 16 points were a career high, uh, 8 to mm -hmm. 10 from the floor. Um, just how has she grown over the course of the year and, and what impressed you about the way she played today? Well, the thing is about Jordan is you got to understand she was out for a year with an ACL and she only came back. When did you come back, Jordan? January what? Uh, Jordan just came back to practice in late December and wasn't able to play till January, a couple of weeks in January. So Jordan's going to be good. She's just going to get better and better and better. And, um, you know, she's you know, only a freshman. has got four more years after this. And I think she's going to get better. We'll get to work with her individually, work on, on her moves, uh, have her move out a little to where she can shoot the three. Uh, but we're really excited about what Jordan uh, Jenkins is doing right now. She's had two good games. She had 14 against UCLA, too, and one of our few bright spots in that UCLA game. But I'm excited about her. I think she's going to be a heck of a player here. All right. Thanks, Sam. Uh, Eli? Sorry, i got to allow you to talk. What was it? Hey, Coach. Obviously, great, excellent offensive performance tonight, shooting 65%. What improvement did you see in the offense since the past couple games? I felt that we shared the ball, and I felt my point guard got it into some kids' hands that could, uh, that could really shoot the ball, you know, and she did. Uh, I mean, I don't know how many assists uh, India got, but she got in the hands of some kids that could really shoot the ball, and, and you know, they, they did they did what they do well, you know, and, and that's what – 
we took good shots. We set up our teammates for good shots. We shared the ball. We passed the ball. We went to different areas on the floor. We went to Jordan uh, Sanders for a while. We went to Jordan Jenkins for a while. We went to India for a while. We went to Alyssa Peely for a while. We went to Alice Samir for a while. No, I thought it was really good. Coach, last question for you is a write-in question uh, from Georgina. How did the team's chemistry and energy shape today's win? A lot. You know, chemistry is, it's hard during the COVID, you know, time to, to really get good chemistry. Because again, it's, it's hard on the kids being isolated so much. And, you know, little problems become big problems because they're so tired and, and everything else. So, you know, it, the chemistry was, was really good tonight. And moving forward, you know, uh, and moving into next year, the, we've got it. We got to work on really good team chemistry. We're talking, you know, COVID kept us from doing our team bonding activities that we usually do in the, in the fall. We, we're going to be able to do that next year. We're going to be able to bring people in. We're going to, and, and, you know, they're missing all that. You know, we just, you know, we're spending all our time trying to get them through talking to them, everything else, but, uh, but, you know, chemistry is going to be an important factor uh, moving forward. And, and uh, you know, we got it. We got to work on building great, great team chemistry. And I think this game, uh, was a great step in, in, in a direction, like I said, especially in lieu of our last two weeks.